Today, it's my pleasure to have with us Julian Sanders, who is, I guess, our resident Saskatoon and Focus tech expert. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Zach. So, of course, we're in December, which, as you can tell by our set and everything else, means it's the holiday season. And one of those things that people run into when they, they start getting into the holiday season, of course, is gift giving. And you're going to show us a thing or two about how to make these gifts a little more useful uh, at Christmas time. You got it. Yeah, a lot of people uh, want to uh, take what they have on their computer and show it off when they're in the living room. Uh, a lot of people have photos and music, uh, maybe home movies, uh, on their computer and they want to easily get them to the TV. And there's a lot of solutions without spending a lot of money uh, that you can do. And of course, there, not only that, the, the stuff that you might have on your computer, such as pictures or, or uh, home videos, but of course there's streaming services now that you could basically hook up uh, to your computer through the internet and and uh, then stream on your on your television. You got it. Yeah. So it's another uh, it's another place to get your entertainment. You can do uh, Netflix. There's a lot of other services that people don't know uh, what they are yet. Uh, so it's good to have the options and experience them. So of course the thing that uh, a lot of people do have is the uh, good old trusty PC. So uh, for a lot of people they've never really thought about how do I actually get this onto my TV. So maybe you just bought a nice big 50 or 60 inch TV and you've got this dinky little laptop and you love to see what you've got on that screen on the bigger one. So yeah. how would people go about doing that? Uh, it's actually quite easy. It depends on your computer. So it's this isn't going to be the same case for everybody. Uh, but I brought with me here uh, just a regular Sony 13 inch PC. And uh, there's a, uh, a regular port that's been on computers for a very long time. And uh, it's the one on the side here. And uh, this guy is uh, uh, VGA, so is what, what we call it, and uh, this guy will do uh, the picture. Even your uh, computer from a few years ago will have this. The other option is HDMI, and this is on newer computers. Uh, it's also on um, a lot of, uh, it's on all the Blu-ray players, uh, all the high-def cable boxes, uh, all have this same HDMI port, so it'll do both picture and sound. Yeah, that, that's what I figured out the long way the last time I was hooking things up. It took me about an hour and then I realized that HDMI is picture and sound. I don't need to be hooking all these other things up. I, I royally messed up someone else's TV and I guess I, I should have called you. But uh, <laughs> Well, there's always a reset button too. <laughs> that's true, that's true. So that is, uh, I mean, one PC that, uh, or a computer that people might have. Now, of course, Apple, a uh, very popular system that a lot of people are picking up these days, but it's a little bit different of, right. as Apple products tend to be. So how would people do uh, do that process of hooking up if they happen to have a MacBook or a or another Apple computer? Uh, well, Apple changed their uh, display adapter, so it depends on the age of your Mac. Uh, so uh, the easiest way to explain it is to show you two of the different adapters. Uh, so there is um, basically, to keep the design really really slim, Apple used a mini display port on all of their newer Macs. So it's uh, basically, it's this little round plug that uh, connects, that can do uh, both audio and video over HDMI, but you have to buy the adapters. They're about $30. Uh, you can find them at a couple of popular stores. And uh, then you have to plug that in first before it'll allow you to connect it to the television with a cord. Uh, if your Mac's a little older, uh, then it's the um, uh, 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 Mini VGA. And uh, this guy's on uh, old white MacBooks, uh, which a lot of people still have hanging around. Uh, so if your battery won't charge, you could even drop your Mac under the TV and uh, use it for internet and other things. Now, of course, if people happen to run into problems, as I have before, what's the best way that when hooking these things up that someone can fix that uh, I mean other than reading the manual, which I know that some people are just, they don't like doing. Uh, are there some good websites out there where people can get some tech, tech sorry, tech advice or uh, Absolutely. find some other information? Uh, Apple support sites, very easy. If you have a Mac, you can uh, quickly and easily see what your Mac's capable of. Uh, if you uh, don't know how to connect your laptop to the TV, uh, there is a website uh, that I uh, uh, frequently refer people to called WikiHow, and it's uh, basically a topical Wikipedia that's very quick and easy to pull up a subject. So just type in uh, laptop to TV and it should come right up. Okay, great. So now, of course, a lot of people, like we said, already have the PC. They already have the Mac. Now, since it is Christmas time, people are going to be picking up some brand new things. And there are some really cool uh, new ways of, of looking at content on your TV. And uh, show us a couple of those. Sure. Uh, so I brought along, well, might as well start with the little guy. Uh, this little black puck is called the Apple TV. And uh, basically, uh, this guy is around $120. 
You connect it to your television. It's only compatible with newer high definition TVs. It can't be connected to the old ones. And it will allow you to quickly and easily wirelessly stream all of your content from your PC or Mac to your TV through iTunes. So all of your content that you have, all your music, all the photos on your computer, uh, they'll all be visible without a wire. Uh, this guy just goes on your regular Wi-Fi network that your computer uses. It also allows you to uh, mirror the display for your uh, iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, uh, which is kind of nice because you could play games from your iPad on your big TV. Really? So, and it, like you said, it's all seamless. It all happens over a wireless network. And, you got it, yeah. And all you have to do is just plug this little thing into your TV. Yes, yeah. It's just an HDMI cord, and then you configure it on your network. Uh, if you have a Mac, uh, there is a little uh, pairing number that you have to type in, uh, but it'll take you about five minutes to set it up. Uh, on a PC, uh, there's a little less setup to do. Uh, it'll find your photos almost automatically, and even if your friend's uh, computer comes over for a visit, you can put it on the Apple TV without a lot of effort. Uh, all you have to do is change a setting inside of iTunes. Okay, so that's not the only product out there that a person can use for, uh, you know, taking that content wirelessly. What are some of the other things that uh, exist? Uh, this guy here is a boxy box, and uh, it's made by D-Link. Uh, it's got a very uh, futuristic design, and uh, this is running a uh, different type of operating system. Uh, it's actually based on Android. It's been built from the ground up to be easier to use than the Apple TV or a computer. It's uh, actually outputting at full high resolution 1080p, whereas the Apple TV's top resolution 720p. So the picture quality in this guy is a little bit better. And uh, it, there's a lot of free services that D-Link has partnered with uh, to give you uh, uh, stations and shows for free, uh, especially a lot of the popular web channels. Uh, it's very quick and easy to access uh, baseball and hockey recaps in Canada, and there's more content coming for free all the time. Of course, we're not recommending that people get rid of their cable, especially if they're watching Shaw. No, it's an on-demand alternative. But uh, there, is other, con there yeah. is other content out there that people can use these products to, uh, to get a hold of. So uh, these aren't the only things that you can use either, and I know you haven't brought some of the other options with you, but a lot of people have uh, things in their house already connected to their TV that allows them to, uh, to actually connect up to their computer. Right. And what yeah. are those? Uh, the, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 are both uh, really uh, good alternatives to uh, plugging your computer directly in. If you go into WikiHow and search for whichever console you have uh, and the word streaming, you'll find very good instructions on how to uh, allow your computer's content to be seen without a lot of effort uh, through Windows Media Player. Great. Okay. So now I have to ask, as a tech expert, as someone who deals with uh, technology and things like this day in and day out, what's the most interesting experience that you've had dealing with someone who maybe um, was a little unsure of, of uh, the best way to go about using their, their product? Uh, well, we've had a lot of cases where people have come in and they've uh, purchased the wrong item. Uh, I had, I had uh, one uh, um, uh, little old lady and uh, she's my favorite stereotypical customer. Um, she comes into the store all the time and she switched from PC to Mac and she uh, kept getting a lot of hassle from uh, her relatives and her friends because she was trying to figure out how to connect it all uh, into her television and into her printer and she wanted it all to talk together uh, easily so she ended up uh, coming back to the store with uh, uh, three napkins and a photograph of uh, everything she owned so we uh, we basically sat down and helped her with a little diagram of it so she uh, she actually calls herself the uh, the little old lady with questions all the time there you go but <laughs> You made it work, you made it happen, and hopefully people have uh, taken away uh, a few good pointers about uh, things that they might be purchasing for Christmas or, or a couple of interesting ways to make sure that they can see that content on their TV. So thanks for coming in. That's all the time we have, Julian, and uh, sure we'll have you again in, uh, here in uh, 2012. There are always more products coming out, and we appreciate hearing about them. Thanks for having me, Zach. Thanks.